how to diagnose diabetes diabetes is a hyperglycemia condition that is excessive blood sugars so how much sugar is excessive blood sugar if in a fasting blood sugar if it is more than 126 mg per deciliter we can label the patient as diabetes or two hours post glucose challenge test if the blood sugar is more than 200 mg per deciliter then we can label the patient as diabetes or three months blood sugar average hba1c if it is more than 6.5 percent then we can label the patient as diabetes so I have mentioned the cutoffs for fasting, post-glucose blood sugar and HbA1c for calling as diabetes. So what is fasting blood sugar? 8 hours of overnight fasting, if the blood sugar is tested, then we label it as fasting blood sugar. And again 2 hours ingestion of 75 grams of anhydrous glucose, we will measure the blood sugar and it is called as 2 hour post-glucose value. And HbA1c is the 3 month sugar average which, is, which can be done any time of the day. What is impaired fasting glucose or what is impaired glucose tolerance? This is the pre-diabetes IFG or IGT or the condition which can progress into type 2 diabetes in the future. If your fasting blood sugar is in between 100 to 126 milligram per deciliter or 2 hours post glucose sugar is in between 140 to 200 milligrams per deciliter or 3 months blood sugar average HbA1c is in between 5.7 and 6.4 then you are called as pre-diabetes or you are prone to develop diabetes in the future. So what are the normal blood sugars? The normal blood sugar of fasting blood sugar should be less than 100 milligram per deciliter and a normal 2 hour post glucose blood sugar should be less than 140 milligram per deciliter HbA1c should be less than 5.7%. So how do you label patient as type 1 or type 2 diabetes? Basically the clinical features differentiate the patient is having either type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes patients are usually young and more on the lean side, they are little bit on the leaner side and type 2 diabetes patients are usually of elderly age group and are more on the heavy white side or obese side and the family history of diabetes is more seen in the type 2 diabetes side and couple of blood tests can differentiate either you are having a type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes auto antibodies against islet cells or GAD 65 antibodies or zinc uh, transporter can be positive in type 1 diabetes and C peptide is very low in type 1 diabetes whereas auto antibodies are very negative in type 2 diabetes and C peptide is normal or high in type 2 diabetes